Planet Dolan. From offensive facial recognition software to an anti-Semitic Twitter bot, we count nine times technology went wrong. Hey there, I'm Hellbent. I'm here to learn you suspiciously amazing facts that I didn't just make up. Number nine. As any photographer or serial holidayer knows, good photo managing software can be hard to find. Google Photos is a popular option, as long as you can take its casual racism. So, Google Images uses facial recognition software to tag people in images. This is designed to save time when categorizing photos or uploading to social media. However, Google got into some hot water when it mistakenly categorized two African American men as monkeys. The story quickly went viral and led to some fierce online debates about racist AI. But at least Google Photos doesn't discriminate. It's also mistaken several white people for dogs or seals. Number 8. When drones first hit the mass market, many people feared they'd be misused to invade our privacy. But did anyone consider that the drones might revolt and try to kill us? Okay, so most drones can't think for themselves, but there have been many cases of them mysteriously dropping out of the sky and hitting people in the face. For example, a drone carrying a mistletoe in a TGIF restaurant fell and cut a part of someone's nose off. And on another occasion, a drone delivering asparagus to a Dutch restaurant crashed and literally burst into flames. Best thing you can do is always keep one eye on the sky because the drones are always watching. Number 7. Ah, uh, good old Google Earth. You're basically a socially acceptable big brother. This incredible online resource is super helpful for finding addresses or looking at distant locations. a popular option. Planet Dolan. When disaster strikes, it is so often children who suffer the most. But just because you're small, does it mean you won't survive? Does extreme youth have an advantage in perilous situations? Here are 15 children who survived the impossible. I'm Danger Dolan, and today I will be your narrator. Number 15. Nine year old Willie Merrick was hanging out in his driveway one spring afternoon when a stranger caught his attention and forced him into his car. The stranger drove for over three hours while Willie, frightened for his life, began singing his favorite gospel song at the top of his voice. The kidnapper shouted at Willie to cut it out, but Willie kept it up until eventually the exacerbated child snatcher stopped the car and freed Willie out of pure annoyance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number 14. In 1995, a Colombian farmer heard the sounds of crying from a mound of seaweed in a marsh near Cartagena. The cries came from 10 year old Erica Delgado, who had miraculously survived the fall from an exploding airplane. As the aircraft broke up in the sky, the girl said her mother had pushed her out of the plane and her thousand foot fall had been cushioned by the seaweed. Erica was the only survivor of 50 victims. Number 13. After a few minor falls from her young son Keston, Cynthia became obsessed with the idea that she had allowed him to become permanently brain damaged. Deciding that she couldn't bear the guilt, a psychologically pained Cynthia threw herself from the 8th story window of their New York apartment. Despite being strapped to her in a baby carrier, Keston survived the fall which tragically killed his mother. Number 12. In 2016, Thomas Riches was born looking like a normal healthy baby. But the infant was born without a trachea or windpipe and was unable to breathe. With only 5 survivors from 200 cases recorded in all of medical history, Thomas's odds weren't looking very good. The surgeons were able to build separate tubes to both his lungs and stomach using his existing esophagus. With advances in stem cell research, Thomas may find himself with a brand new breathing pipe soon enough. Number 11. The Nazi Holocaust of the 30s and 40s took the lives of millions, but within the horror lies some stories of survival. Barbara was born in 1944 on a brick furnace in the camp of Auschwitz. 
Her mother was near death after her birth, and Barbara was breastfed by a Russian woman who had recently lost her child. Amazingly, Barbara survived the camp, even under the watch of infamous child experimenter Josef Mengele. Number 10. In 2016, in another tragic suicide, father of two boys, John Spinkin, climbed onto the roof of his car and leapt off a highway overpass bridge into the forest 100 feet below. He was holding his one and three year old sons in his arms as he fell, but both boys escaped the ordeal with a full recovery. Reports suggest a history of domestic violence and recent arguments with his wife. Number 9 After getting a split lip playing basketball, Jake Finkbonner didn't think he'd find himself in the hospital, but within 24 hours, Jake's face had been ravaged by a flesh-eating bacteria that was destroying more than an inch of skin every couple of hours. Told by doctors that Jake didn't have long to live, his parents prayed to native American Catholic Katarai, who is now being considered for sainthood. Shortly after, surgeons were able to eliminate the usually fatal infection. Number 8 the notorious funnel-web spider is one of the deadliest creatures on the planet. Their bite can kill a child in as little as 15 minutes. 10-year-old Matthew Mitchell was bitten on the hand and rushed to hospital. Doctors gave him 12 vials of anti-venom, the biggest dose in Australia's history. The anti-venom was so effective, Matthew was walking out of the hospital unscathed a day later. Number 7 In 2015, Autumn Veitch had been taken out for a flying trip in her grandparents' small plane. But a problem on board sent the aircraft crashing into the Cascade Mountains. Both grandparents were killed in the crash despite Autumn's efforts to rescue them from the fiery wreckage. She had to hike for two days through the wilderness before being found by the side of a highway. Number 6 14. While walking home off the school bus, 14-year-old Elizabeth Schoff was accosted by a man dressed as a policeman. The man, who was in fact an unemployed construction worker, dragged the girl to a bunker near his home in the woods. And during 10 days of assault, Elizabeth was able to convince the man to lend her his phone to play games. She sent messages to friends and family, and within a day, police had triangulated her position and rescued her from the nightmare. Number 5 An immigrant from Somalia, Yaya Abdi, missed his mother back in Africa. So he decided to hop on the next flight heading west from California. Without the funds for a ticket, he instead clambered up the wheel shaft of the aircraft and survived the five and a half hour journey to the Hawaii stopover. The freezing temperatures and lack of oxygen would have been enough for most people, but nothing can stop a homesick teen, it seems. Number four. As a 16th birthday present, Mackenzie Wethington was taken on a skydiving trip in Oklahoma, but an issue with twisted lines prevented the parachute from opening meaning the teenager performed a freefall of 3,000 feet and hit the ground. To the disbelief of medical professionals, Mackenzie survived, although with several trauma injuries. She's since been awarded 700,000 bucks in damage against the skydiving school, and the minimum age for falling was raised to 18. Number 3 In 2009, French schoolgirl Bahaya Bakari was on a flight over the Indian Ocean with her mother. The plane crashed into the ocean, killing everyone on board except for Bahia, who was flung into the water. The 12-year-old couldn't swim, so she clung onto debris in the water until she was rescued after three hours. She was flown back to France for a bittersweet reunion with her father. Number 2 For something that started as an internet meme, it may seem strange that the mythical figure the Slenderman might command enough respect for human sacrifice. But in 2016, two 14-year-old schoolmates lured Peyton Lutner to the woods and stabbed her 19 times, hoping that her death would please the fictional phantom. Peyton recovered fully, while her attackers faced charges of either murder or insanity. Number 1 Norman Olistat's father was a real adrenaline junkie, from skiing, to surfing, to flying. That all ended in 1979 when a light aircraft crashed, killing Norman's father and the pilot. The 11 year old boy navigated his way down the mountain with his father's girlfriend, but she was killed after a bad fall. Incredibly, the boy made it down the slopes using the skills his deceased father had taught him. That is it for this countdown. Have a good one! Planet Dolan. What banned food is made using sheep organs? 
What food requires a chef to train for years just so it doesn't kill you? Here are 15 foods that are banned in the US, at least under certain circumstances. I'm Melissa, and today I'll be your narrator. Number 15. Kinder Surprise chocolate eggs are hollow and have a toy inside. A federal law passed about 80 years ago prohibits the sale of any food containing inedible materials, and this counts. Apparently, attempting to smuggle them into the country can actually get you detained and fined $1,200 per egg. Number 14. Lazy Cakes A few years ago, the energy drink craze brought on a counter movement of products made to help you calm the hell down. Lazy Cakes, later renamed Lazy Larry, were one of those products. It was a relaxation brownie. And yes, we know what you're thinking. No, not that kind of brownie. The active ingredient was actually melatonin, a popular natural sleep aid. But one of the brownies contained about twice the recommended dose, and fears over the sweets being overused by children led the FDA to deem it unsafe as a dietary supplement. Number 13, foie gras. While not banned nationwide, the government of California has banned foie gras, and Chicago had a ban on it in restaurants in 2006 that was overturned a couple years later. The issue here isn't one of safety, it's of humanity. Foie gras is made by aggressively and unnaturally force-feeding ducks and geese through a tube to fatten their livers. Number 12. Raw milk, specifically milk that has not been pasteurized, is banned in many states and heavily regulated in others. Even in the states where it is legal, it cannot be transported across state lines. The pasteurization process keeps potentially dangerous bacteria out of the supply, and raw milk offers no such protections. It's a drink at your own risk kind of situation. Number 11. Absinthe. Admittedly, absinthe actually kind of looks like poison. In the early 1900s, it was considered a hallucinogenic drug that caused epilepsy and tuberculosis. It even has a cool drug name, the Green Fairy. In actuality, it's just a really strong alcoholic beverage that tastes like black licorice. You can import it to the US now, but since the core ingredient, wormwood, is still considered a poisonous plant by the FDA, it has to be considerably diluted. Number 10. Horse meat. By the letter, you could actually eat horse meat in the US except that it's basically impossible to get it. Horse slaughter is banned in the United States, and so is spending tax dollars on the USDA inspection of horse meat. But food can't be sold in the US without USDA inspection, so it's not explicitly banned, but it may as well be. Number 9. Kesu Marzu. This is a type of cheese, purposely infested with maggots. The maggots ferment in the cheese and then lay eggs. And then apparently some people in Italy like to eat it. Yeah. Number 8. Fugu isn't banned, but chefs have to train for two to three years in order to serve it. Why, you ask? This Japanese pufferfish is highly poisonous, with organs toxic enough to kill about 30 adult humans per fish. Tetrodotoxin, in case you were wondering, is a neurotoxin that causes your respiratory system to stop working until you die of asphyxiation. Also, fugu usually goes for hundreds of dollars a plate, which is a lot of money to risk eating a deadly neurotoxin. Number 7. Mirabelle plums. It's neither health nor environmentalism that keeps Mirabelle plums out of the US. It's an obscure import law. These plums are protected as a regional specialty in France, making them almost impossible to import. It's a lot of legal nonsense, but it's basically like real champagne having to come from the actual province of Champagne, France, or real bourbon having to come from Kentucky. They don't allow its import, so it can't be grown stateside, protecting its regional speciality status. Number six. Haggis is banned because the USDA bans food with lungs in it. And haggis contains sheep lung, which really should be all you need to know about it. But in case you needed to know more, haggis is made by mixing sheep organs with oatmeal and spices and mixing it all together in the sheep's stomach. Number five. Aki is usually boiled and served with salted cod in Jamaica, where it is the national fruit but if taken before it's ripe, it can actually kill you, or at least put you in a coma. It was banned in the States completely until 2000, but can now be sold as a frozen fruit, and is still heavily regulated. Number four. If you want to eat redfish in the US, you'll have to head to Mississippi, the only state where it isn't banned. A craze for the fish in the 1980s caused it to be badly overfished, and now it is outlawed in 49 states while the population replenishes. Mississippi, as it is its custom, chooses not to observe these newfangled species protecting regulations. Maybe they thought it would be good for tourism? Number three. Shark fin, a necessary ingredient in the soup that shares its name, was limited through a pair of acts passed in 2000 and 2010. 
The acts have reportedly helped the worldwide decline of the shark population by 90% since they were passed. Shark fin is still popular in other areas of the world, and menu has helped preserve the shark population. Number 2. Mangosteen is an Asian fruit that is known to be part of a number of popular natural cures. But if you're able to get it in the US, it's already been irradiated. The US has tightly controlled the import of mangosteen for fears that it would invite the Asian fruit fly as an invasive species. Number 1. Sassafras Despite being one of the most enjoyable words in the English lexicon, and an ingredient in food and drinks you read about in Mark Twain novels, it turns out sassafras is a carcinogen that causes liver cancer. When these results were revealed, the United States banned the use of sassafras in food, and Canada followed suit. That means your root beer is now made of a form of sassafras that is saffron free which basically means they took the cancer stuff out of it. That's all for now guys, I'll catch you next week. Planet Dolan. Let's face it, the animals of the world today are a cute, cuddly bunch of critters that we all love and cherish. How long ago did monsters roam the earth? What kind of gigantic abominations would we be facing if we'd lived in prehistoric times? Here are the horrifying animals we're glad are extinct. I'm Danger Dolan, and today I will be your narrator. Number 15. The Helicoprion was an enormous relative of the shark that lived nearly 300 million years ago. It is believed to have measured over 12 meters, which is roughly twice the size of a great white shark. But its size was not the most terrifying thing about it, as what the fossils show of this fish is a bizarre spiral shaped row of teeth that paleontologists believe grew from its jaw continuously, resembling a saw blade. Number 14. While the T-Rex and Velociraptor may be the most famous prehistoric predators, the Spinosaurus was the largest carnivorous dinosaur ever to have lived, at around 14 meters long. This hunter could take out prey on land, and also dive into water to catch fish. Most impressive of all were these spines on its back. They gave a fan-shaped sail, which may have been used to cool the giant lizard down, or to make it appear even bigger. Number 13. As life exploded in the oceans during the Cambrian period around 500 million years ago, creatures began getting bigger and taking on strange new traits. One such creature was the Anomalocaris, whose name means weird shrimp. This bizarre ancestor of insects and crustaceans had a disc-shaped mouth with long curved mandibles for trapping food. It was one of the first animals to hunt and eat prey, and it grew to over a meter long. Number 12. At possibly up to 20 meters, the Megalodon shark was about the size of an articulated truck. Its jaws were so massive that a man could stand inside them, and the Megalodon teeth have been found which measure over 6 inches long. Fossil evidence shows that this monster ate turtles, seals, dolphins, and even big whales. Thankfully, a change in climate 35 million years ago killed off this beast. Number 11. Fossils in South Asia show the existence of the largest ape ever to have lived, may have even been alive at the same time as early humans. The Gigantopithecus resembled a huge gorilla, standing at nearly 10 feet tall. But luckily this titan was not a carnivore, it ate mostly fruit from the forest. As these forests turned into savanna fields, the ape failed to adapt to eating grasses and roots, and died out as recently as 100,000 years ago. Number 10. Looking like an ice cream cone from somebody's worst nightmare, the Camarasaurus was one of the largest shelled mollusks ever to have lived. Its conical spiral shell was about 6 meters long, its body and head was similar to the modern day squid. It was likely not the most agile creatures, but was a predator that swam horizontally or hung out on the seafloor. Number 9. Around 300 million years ago, there was about 15% more oxygen in the atmosphere than today. This meant that many species of insect could grow to now impossible sizes, such as the Meganurid, which is a humongous dragonfly with a wingspan of nearly 3 feet the size of a falcon. It would grab other insects out of the air with its long legs and munch on its prey as it flew. Number 8. There is some debate over the largest crocodile ever to have lived, but the monsters we have today are only half the size of their enormous ancestors. The two main contenders are a relative of the Caiman, called the Porosaurus, which lived in South America around 13 million years ago, and the much older Sarcosuchus, which had two gigantic nostrils at the end of its toothy snout. Both species are thought to have reached 12 meters in length. Number 7. 
The saber-toothed cat is a family of mammals distantly related to modern day felines, all of which are now extinct. The species we call the saber-toothed tiger is also called the Smilodon, meaning dagger teeth. This carnivore's canines grew nearly a foot long and could do some serious damage to its prey. Smiley died out about 10,000 years ago, so it's likely that some very unfortunate Homo sapiens had a chance to meet this little kitty. Number 6. The oxygen-rich air of the late Carboniferous period also allowed ground-dwelling insects like millipedes to grow to an extreme size. Arthropleura was the largest insect or invertebrate ever to have lived and had more legs than any animal has a right to own. It was half a meter wide, sometimes well over two meters long, so you could definitely cuddle one in your bed. Thankfully the giant millipede was a herbivore, so that's one less nightmare to think about. Number five. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, but it is roughly the size of one. The Quetzalcoatlus was a flying reptile that predated birds and was likely the biggest living thing to take to the skies. The largest had a wingspan of 10 meters, no feathers, just a light covering of hair on its leathery body. Paleontologists think it probably ate land creatures like small dinosaurs. Number four. Another product of too much oxygen, giant scorpions once roamed the earth during the Carboniferous period, complete with pincers and a deadly sting. These arachnids, called Palmenoscorpius, were the size of a small dog and had proportionally much larger eyes, suggesting it was a skilled hunter. And like modern scorpions, they had sense organs to detect vibrations from far away. They became extinct as oxygen levels decreased, so let's keep cutting down those trees, folks. Number three. The elephant is the largest land mammal alive today, but the biggest one ever was a distant relative of the rhino called the Paraceratherium. This long-necked giant was more like a huge deer and weighed more than four elephants put together. It could reach as high as a giraffe eating the leaves off shrubs and trees, although well, riding one of these behemoths would be fun, standing underneath would be terrifying. Number two. A terrifying hunter with a terrible name, the Andrew Sarkis, was named after American naturalist Roy, you guessed it, Andrews. This predator lived around 50 million years ago and was possibly the largest carnivorous mammal ever to walk the earth. Standing at the height of a man and around 5 meters long, the Andrew Sarkis huge skull suggests it had exceptionally powerful jaws, although exactly what it ate remains a mystery, as most evidence comes from the finding of just one skull. Number 1. A snake so big it was eating crocodiles, the Titanoboa is still the largest serpent ever discovered. We're very glad this monstrosity went extinct 60 million years ago, because the thought of coming face to face with a 40 foot snake that moved on land and in water is the stuff of pure nightmares. Rather than high oxygen levels, it was high CO2 levels that created the hot environment for this boa to get so big, so maybe let's not cut down those trees just yet. This video was made possible by our fans over on Patreon. Thanks for your support, really? guys. That is it for this countdown. Have a good one! Planet Dolan. Every night, the same dream, the same strange planet. But why? What are they trying to tell me? Rogue planets, pink planets, and planets made of diamond. That's only some of the 15 strangest planets that exist today. I'm Melissa, and today I'll be your narrator. Number 15. In 2016, scientists introduced the idea that another planet may have entered our solar system. Called Planet 9, it is likely a rogue planet. This is any planet that isn't tied to a star, but roams the galaxy on its own. It could have been caught by the gravitational forces of the Milky Way and may be orbiting somewhere beyond Pluto. If Planet 9 does exist, it could be 10 times the mass of Earth and take 1500 years to orbit the Sun. Number 14. Originally thought to have the potential for possessing water, Gliese 581c is now considered outside this habitable zone. It is much too close to its star to support life. 581c is also tidally locked, so it doesn't have a regular day-night cycle. This means that as the planet orbits its star, only one side faces the star, so the other side is always in darkness and is likely freezing. As part of a competition, a digital time capsule was selected and sent to Gliese 581c. It will probably reach there in the year 2029. Number 13. The darkest planet yet discovered is known as Tres 2b. 
This is because it only reflects up to 1% of the light from its nearby star. This makes it darker than the blackest coal. About the size of it Jupiter, Tres 2b doesn't have the reflective clouds that Jupiter does. It is thought the planet may emit a faint red glow from the intense heat of its atmosphere since it orbits very close to its star. Number 12. The official name of the oldest planet yet discovered is 1620-26b, but it goes by the nickname Methuselah. It is thought to have formed around 13 billion years ago, only 1 billion years after the universe was formed, which isn't a long time by space standards. Methuselah, which is located in the Scorpius constellation, was also the first planet found orbiting two stars, one of which is a pulsar star. Pulsar stars are what remain after a star explodes. Number 11. Described as a super Saturn, J1407b is bigger than Jupiter, and its rings are 200 times the size of Saturn's. It has over 30 rings, and each of them are millions of miles apart, oh, yes. making the rings 120 million miles across in total. The Whoa, rings are yeah. so large that if they replaced Saturn's rings, they would appear bigger than the moon in the night sky. The planet itself is big enough to possibly possess a moon the size of Earth or Mars. Number 10. Osiris, HD 209458b, takes its nickname from the Egyptian god of the underworld, Osiris. This is appropriate since it orbits so close to its star that it has a surface temperature of 1000 degrees Celsius. Osiris's orbit is so close that a year only lasts 3.5 Earth days. The radiation from the star is also causing its atmosphere to evaporate. Apart from its close orbit, Osiris was also the first exoplanet discovered using the transit method in 1999. Since it's so far away, scientists can observe its atmosphere when it passes in front of its star. Number 9. 55 Cancri E was discovered in 2004 and considered a super-Earth. It's about twice the width of our home planet. This doesn't mean that it's anything like Earth, or that it can support life. In fact, it orbits closer to its star than Mercury does to the Sun. One of its sides is always facing its star, while on the other side, it's always night. After observations in 2012, scientists thought the crust of the planet might be made of carbon in the form of diamond. Number 8. Back in 2005, the planet HD 18977 became the first extrasolar planet that we knew the color of. Through study, it was found to be a deep blue color. This color doesn't come from any oceans, but the clouds in its atmosphere. The planet's weather is extreme, with winds that blow faster than the speed of sound and rain that is made of molten glass. HD 18977 is considered a hot Jupiter, with a mass even larger than Jupiter. Number 7. WASP-17b is the puffiest planet that we know of. What makes it puffy? It's the second largest exoplanet discovered, but it's only half the mass of Jupiter. It's twice the size of Jupiter, but nowhere near the same density. So it's basically like a styrofoam planet. As well as being puffy, WASP-17b also orbits its star backwards. Usually planets travel in the same direction that the sun spins, but not this planet. This could have happened when it collided with another planet, which could also be the cause of its puffiness. Number 6. PSR J1719-1438b is the companion of a neutron star, which goes by the same name, minus the b. The amazing thing about these two is that it only takes a little over two hours for the planet to orbit its star. This is because it orbits a neutron star, which is extremely dense. It has a greater mass than our sun, yet it is only 20 kilometers wide. That means a teaspoon of this star would weigh a billion tons. Its companion planet is also very dense. A little bigger than Jupiter, it has 20 times the density. Number 5. Some have called Kepler-10c the Godzilla planet, and at more than twice the size of Earth, it is large. But that's not what makes this planet special. Normally a planet that large would be gaseous like Neptune. However, scientists confirmed that this massive planet was actually made of rock. It was so unusual that it gained the title of Mega-Earth. Although it couldn't support life, Kepler-10c is older than scientists thought rocky planets could be, which means there are more habitable possibilities out there. Number 4. Kepler-10b was the first rocky world discovered by the Kepler spacecraft, which was sent to space to monitor the Milky Way galaxy and hopefully find other planets in the habitable zone. Even though Kepler-10b is not in that zone, it was still an interesting discovery. 
Dude, oh, sadly you can't enter when you have your parachute out. If you if you could, oh, then yeah, we could have done that. Man. What's your health? I, I can. All right, go. Wait a second. What? Are you doing? Not like that. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were gonna jump at the same time. No, I was like like literally switch. Jump. It would have made sense for us both to switch. Because once you're out, the hell he's going down. Once so it doesn't matter out, where you're going. Oh, it's actually open, but no one has a key. All right, that cop has broken arms. Not too worried about him. We just zoom right past him. Here we go. Move, boy. Oh, my goodness. That should not have worked like that. I should have moved the Volt bike. My vehicle should be so much heavier. Unless in the future, just things get, like, even heavier. No gravity. I'm yeah. Gra more gravity. More gravity. All the gravity. Oh, my gosh. Dude, this guy's trying to arrest me. Hold up. I'm trying to kill you. He's trying to arrest me. Now, I got two people after me. You and this cop. He's going backwards. I'm just going to shoot him. I'm going to go and end him. More like I'll end you, buddy. You flattened me while I tried to kill him. You pinned me down and you arrest me. Arrest him. Arrest him, officer. Arrest him. It would now have happened. Would they arrest me. They Do arrest it. you. Do it. Oh, make me slide <laughs> everywhere. Dude, it looked like I was doing that uh, ragdoll glitch for a second. Keep doing hey. it. I might do it. See, look. Oh. Here, here we go. Glitch time. Glitch time. Onomatopoeia. Woo. I'm in. Oh, sent me flying out. Oh, it's open. It's open. Hey. Literally brought me perfectly here. Let's go. Which one do we kill? Pick one. The guy on the left. Cop. He came in here, he just runs right back. He's like, nope, nope, I'm out. So how do you do the glitch? So you know when you crouch, just like the jewelry store, half your body goes in, you do that on the side of the wall right there. Wait, what? I'm robbing you multiple times. Dude, yeah, it's saying you collected, like you're collecting it, yep. So you see, look, Nate has collected. It just says that when you're like about to leave. All right, here we go. We're about to do the glitch. Rob it instantly. Move, how? right here, how? right here. Look, look at me. Crap, can I just get past this money bag here? All right, here we go. Here, I just did it. Let's turn it in. Oh, it's supposed to teleport Ooh. you out. It so worked. I don't know why it didn't this time, but we we got the money. Oh, what that work. You teleported me out just then by kicking me. Oh, they're actually in the robbing it, bro. Let's, let's do the thing. Why not? Sure, I'm robbing it too, homie. Everyone knows this now. Literally everyone knows this. Oh, someone died. Rest in peace. Wait, maybe I could push you out because half your body's already almost out of there. Um, that guy just got out. He must have actually just activated know. no clipping. What did Breaky just say? He knows how to get into the apartment without buying it. All right, this key's going to show me how to get an apartment for free. Wait, but then you can't control it. He's taking me somewhere, dude, coming in front of the jewelry store. Breaky? He's taking me to the apartment by the water. All right, how do we do this? So he's basically showing me how to get stuck in here and act like it's your apartment. It's not even your apartment. What is this? How to break into apartment and make it yours for free. You have to run into the glass. Yeah, but don't. Or, or run into the glass like a crazy man and just break the glass. Ooh! Oh, he did it. Wait. What? He did it. Pickpocket him while he's down. Almost. Five. He just bought it. Nick, come here. Let me push you in right here. Car. Just run into the wall and loom Nick, up. Come over here. I need a loom. Come over here, Nate. Oh, you're going to push me in? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Let me go backwards. Push me in. Oh, I'm almost in. Keep pushing me in. I'm taking this guy's key card. Dude, he's, he says, come in, dude. He's punching me. Pull my legs in. Pull my legs. If they tase me, maybe I can get in. Bank open. Bank open. Get in. Again? Again? Let's go. Get in. Helly, helly, helly. Go, go. I thought you said to get in the bank. Oh, oh my, look where I landed. Help me. <laughs> Crap, I don't even have a get key. Up, get up, get up, fool. Uh, get up, get up, get up. Hey, get up, fool. Get up. <laughs> like I look at you first person. Hey, cops. Which one, which one? Dude, that's a lot of police versus us. All right, uh, what if we all did the glitch at once? Imagine. Everyone, do what I do right now. Like what, stand still? It's so laggy, stop beating me up. All you have to do is literally just get in the bank and you're guaranteed to get the cash with this glitch. Oh, it only teleports you if you're the only one robbing it. I mean, we could wait till the end, literally. If we wanted to, we could wait till the end. Hey, what did that just do? You are like gold bar right now, Gooby, it looked like. I'm like on the shelf. <laughs> Elf on a shelf. Stop, you're killing me. You're killing me. I'm up here. This looks like such a cool screenshot, bro. Wait, am I up here too? I'm under you. <laughs> I did it. Yeah, you're up here now. Oh, see it? Dude, it teleported us out. All you gotta do is wait. If you don't want to run through there and there's cops, just wait till the end and you're good. Whoa, it's working like well. And I'm just like on the side here. It's like, enter, you freak. It's that guy again, One, dude. It's that guy again. Two. What? No, no. <laughs> it's like, no, not the counting. Are you trying to kill me? Imagine if I was on the side there. Now we go in and arrest all of them. Whoa, okay. I'm dead. Look at the heli, dude. We're just chilling up here. Me and weird top hat Chilling fella. Like a villain. This is actually amazing. I'm gonna jump out and see if it still stays. It does. All right, have fun up there. Oh, it dropped. There's Burger Boy. No, no, he arrested me, bro. He got his revenge on me. Break me out. I see he fall down. I gotta go up the ladder. Gotta go up the ladder. 
He said, what'd he say? Re revenge. Drop him off. I'm going to drop him off the ladder. Whoa, off whoa, the whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I don't think that cop's nice. You see him? Penguin with a snowman on his head. It's all patched right now, buddy. I think he's just figuring it out right now, and he's like kind of raging. He's going to arrest all the criminals. Whoa, he's back. What? What? Revenge. Spells revenge wrong. Re revenge. Nate, I will save you. Despite you being rude to my hat. All right, he's going to break me out of here. Oh, oh. This guy's freezing. This guy's freezing. Computer exploding. I can't even jump I can't out. Get out. I can't get out, dude. He's got us trapped. He's got us trapped. Oh, oh, get out of there, dude. Get out of that freak's hell. He had us trapped. Ooh, you're on the. I got you trapped now. I got you trapped now. I got you trapped now. <laughs> I'm not trapped anymore. Leaves the game. <laughs> it's like I'm not trapped anymore when I leave. This is the best criminal I've ever seen. Gingi Baba, the toughest and roughest criminal out of all of them. He's made it through the new player challenge five times. It earned him this bandana. Well, this guy's just going for tases. There's so many people in the bank right now. I can't handle it. Like, the noises are lagging. All right, here we go. My ears. This is terrible. So many people. The noises. Let's get out of there. Disturbed noise bank. All right, loading it up. Loading up. Everyone get in. Cool off. I, I think I got all of them. I think I got all of them. Oh, my goodness. Well, I'm going in, too. Why not? Oh, I'll try to land on the heli. No. There's only one guy who lived. No, no, no. She's lagging. She's going to arrest me. Oh, no. I called it. I was on top of the roof, and she arrested me from the first floor. <laughs> what? Cash! What? What about cash? Is he asking for money? All right, why not, man? Here you go, 500 bucks. Boom. Oh, shoot, he dropped money. No, he just stole it from me, bro! What? Why? Kill him! Kill him! Dude! Wait. And I got arrested. Someone stole my money from me, and I got arrested. Ooh, freak me out! No! It's okay, we got you, homie. Don't worry, we're coming to save your life. Dude, I'm literally gonna get put back in the cells like two seconds after I get arrested. Unless you we're can break me out from down here. Rock, ooh, ooh, trampoline with the rocket fuel might work. It might work, actually. Well, that's exactly my plan. All right, here we go. Spam V. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, have them jump and then use the rocket fuel and it will cause you to bounce up in the air and fly away. Almost. Oh, we're at an angle now. We're at an angle now. Can we do it? Yeah! Oh, that would have been so close. You were like riding on the There's walls. There's gotta be a way to make this easier. Yeah, run so over the prisoners. <laughs> run them over. Keep running them over. Woo, that's how you do it, dude. Just run them over and it'll bop Come you up on, in the on, air. On, Come on. on. Try low suspension. The thing will be closer to their heads. Like the bottom of the vehicle will be closer to their heads. It's on low. All right, here we go. What? It like works the first Barely. time I say low. Imagine. Glitch the monster. Glitch the monster. You see him? Glitch the monster, he said. You'll fly out, he said. He will fly out, he said. Here we go. Oh. Dude. Hey. Chill. Oh, that guy. That, we got to kill that up. cop. Yes. <laughs> that out. actually worked. The player thing. <laughs> Why are you? Oh, we're out. We're going right back in. That's what it looks like you're about to do. You're going right back in now, Nate. Now, let me get an AK. Never mind, I will die if I jump out to get the AK. <laughs> okay, where are we going, Gooby? It's like, we're all going in the volcano now. What if I flew all the way into the volcano, like, perfectly? I would say, how are we gonna get out of here? It's like, I'm out of rocket fuel, Nate. You're gonna have to get in. Oh, I need to buy some more rocket fuel, too. How about we all get a turn buying rocket fuel? And then we'll see which one actually ends up stealing the monster truck. All right, my turn. Oh, I only need about a uh, hundred more. All right, and I'm gonna tell them, uh... Your turn to buy rocket fuel, Ryan. He like drives off in the monster truck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I guess he was trying to tell us he didn't want to buy it. All right, he just sent it flying with his mind. Yeah, it was like, no, telepathically. I no one will have any Robux. I'm in the passenger, dude. dude. All right, just go. <laughs> he hit the ground like that. Oh, dude, amazing. Dang it, we went a little too far. I was trying to get to the jewelry store. Bro, what? I don't have a gun. I would have jumped out and killed him. I'll boost over his head. Peace, bro. <laughs> that cop is mad about rocket fuel. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, no. Oh, no! Imagine if we all got hit and died. Call Osimo, someone. Call Osimo. Why does he want to call Osimo? Here, Igubi won't kill you. Just then in the back. It killed none of them. I'm glad. I just want to get the reactions. Oh my gosh, that was so close. He almost died. Time to get armed. Here we go. Ooh. I already got guns. What am I doing? I don't have any. Uh, I'm literally using all my tools at once right now. Where's my gun? There we go. There we go. Here we go. <laughs> David Chi Chi. You're dead now. You ready to kill him? You ready to kill him? It's the jumping technique. It's the jumping technique. No, no, don't let him arrest me. It's the jumping technique. 
Kill him. Kill him with your guns. There we go. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh my gosh, bro. You understand? I have so many different tools. Like right now, it's hard to like spam, all right? I have to press the two and four key to spam. Stop pushing me. He's flattening us so he can get us. No. Crap. I'm all out of rocket fuel. I'm all out of rocket fuel. Run in the bank. Run in the bank. It's the only place we'll be safe. Yeah. I got rocket fuel. Yeah. Oh, I see you go away and I'm just like here stuck at the bank. Where did he go? Where did he go? He just left in disbelief. He's not gonna get us anymore. Oh, police, police have entered. Police. All right, I'm gonna wait Come here on. and see if it blows me back. What? Who? Dude, me? <laughs> did it send oh. you back? Oh, what? What? How did we get arrested? His head is stuck. Wait, Goopy, come here. You like my little spot here? This is where I like to hang out in the prison. My chill zone. Where? Come up the stairs. Oh, I got calzones. Up. Look, I'm just up here. Yeah, yeah, let's see if we can both get here. What's he saying? Decoration. He makes me want to get down here. I don't want to be a decoration. What if we were... Eating? I had become a rager. Dude, how do, how do I eject this guy? I didn't want to be a rager. I can't, I can't hear you, dude. But I became just like Joey. I had been lost to the dark side, oh. but then I regained control. What? <laughs> Yo, guys, Joey is here, and I'm with. <laughs> Hello, man. <laughs> What's up? Yo, dude. What's up, bro? Today we are.